the University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals. Whilst this is all good fun, we are professional scientists and so, of course, there is a serious side. I'm interested in carbohydrates and then more particularly in polysaccharides, so that's long chains of sugar units. So polysaccharides have been used a lot in the food and pharmaceutical industry for a long time for their, for their binding ability, for their thickening ability, for their gelling ability. But also there are some polysaccharides which have been shown to have some true therapeutic value in themselves. And in developing worlds, they are still used quite often in, in, as functional medicines. So even, even in, in the Western world, in Europe, if we get stung by a nettle, we'll rub the, the, the leaves of the dock leaf on us on our hand for example and that's a, a type of, of polysaccharide called pectin that's found in that dock leaf that has a therapeutic effect on, on the sting. So polysaccharides are long chains of, of, of sugar molecules made up of, of what, thousands or tens of thousands of, of sugar molecules joined together in a, in a chain with varying degrees of branching. So when we talk about a sugar molecule for example here we have a, a, a glucose molecule, in this case alpha glucose. So, and so a number of these molecules, so this is in the, in the, ring, the ring form of glucose, and this, these molecules will join together. And each of these hydroxyl groups, the, the red oxygen here, we haven't shown the hydrogen for clarity, the, the, we can have bonding to another sugar at each of these hydroxyl groups. So for example, one of the the um, main types of um, polysaccharides that people might be most familiar with is starch, which is in fact a mixture of two different types of polysaccharide. So this is the pumpkin that we were talking about and preparing earlier on. And what we've done is we've taken the, the, the pumpkin flesh and it's been suspended in, in about 90% ethanol because the polysaccharides are insoluble in ethanol but many of the other components in the pumpkin will be soluble and that way we should get a fibrous precipitate of polysaccharide. Here we've done something very similar for another member of the pumpkin family, butternut squash. And again, here maybe if you look more closely you can see the, the white fibrous material at the bottom of this melon extract. Hopefully the fibrous material at the bottom is some polysaccharides that we can do something with later. Polysaccharides uh, from certain plant materials have been known for a long time to have therapeutic um, and actions. For example, these from the, the pumpkin family have often been associated with um, the ability to lower blood sugar levels, which might be of interest in the treatment of diabetes, so they're hypoglycemic polysaccharides. Are, are known to be are thought to be present in the, in the pumpkin family. So that's what we're, their aim is to do, try and extract these polysaccharides, purify them, characterize them, and then at some later point we may look to see what these hypoglycemic properties are. Okay, so once we've uh, extracted our, our polysaccharide, we generally tend to do a number of different experiments to either calculate the size or the, the, the sugar constituents of the molecule. So in this case, what we can do is we can take our polysaccharide and we can hydrolyze the bonds using strong acid. And in this case, this will tell us what the components of, uh, of the polysaccharide were. O on the screen here, we've just recently done a, a previous extraction on some um, melon polysaccharide. And we can see from the screen that it's, it's composed of some galactose, some glucose, and some mannose. And this peak here is probably rhamnose. This tells us what the components were of that polysaccharide. If we do some derivatization steps prior to hydrolysis and subsequent to hydrolysis, we can also have an idea of how these sugars were linked together in real space. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.